What's going on, gentlemen? So it is Sunday, uh, a couple days after Thanksgiving and Black Friday, whatever the date is today. Um, it's the, November the 29th is the date. It's it, it has gotten cold in Louisiana. We're actually in a in a freeze warning. You know, you got to remember when we get into freezing stuff down here, people go into a panic. I'm not a coffee guy. But when it gets cold like this, I enjoy a good cup of coffee or a good, uh, like a, a hot chocolate or a, from a cappuccino. You know, I, I do enjoy it when it's cold like this. And I, we have a, <laughs> we're actually going to look at a system where the drain pan is full of water in the attic. The guy went in the attic, said the emergency pan's full of water and he doesn't have heat or air. So obviously it's breaking red. And I'm thinking, damn dude, how long has it been like that? Because we haven't used air conditioning in a couple days. And he said it's been sitting like that for a couple days. So obviously he ran the air conditioning a couple days ago. And uh, it filled up the pan and the switch is tripped. So he wants me to come out there and clear the drain out. And, uh, you know, empty the pan. And uh, make sure that the unit is up to par. So we're going to do that. And hopefully we can get some film on that. But first, I'm going to get me a cup of coffee because it is a little chilly outside. So we have a three and a half ton train air handler, drain pan full of water. It's coming over the top. It's gotten on the ceiling. They're using a one inch drain. So I know who did this job. The duct work is atrocious. It needs to be replaced. It's horrible. We have a foam attic. That fitting right here looks loose. Try to prop y'all up where y'all can see something. Yeah, that's loose, thank God. Okay, let me get the vacuum. Well, I found a one inch coupling. I gotta bail this water out of this pan. getting exhaust uh, I definitely felt it break loose the only problem is my little shop vac is not going to nearly hold all this water Okay, this is, they definitely need some major work here. Mindset looks okay, but they need a new supply plenum. They need new duct work. We're going to be quoting some stuff out here for sure. I, I, I'm pretty confident that I got the, that I got the, uh, the uh the drain clear good that's why the pan overflowed look at that the thermostat wires holding it down it never could float look it was like that what you think you want to you want to get a quote on all that yeah if you can please yeah i mean th this is i mean look man you you're losing so much efficiency here I mean, look how they look, 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 look right here and look at all this. It, it's, how much it would cost? Well, you need to change the unit too. This needs to be changed too. I mean, look how nasty this thing is. It's, it's been sitting in water. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
How old is the outside? I think the outside unit is uh, 2000. This is a 2004. I think it should be the same thing. Same thing. And uh, the reason your ceiling flooded is... Here, I'll show you. You see this switch, how it floats? Mm -hmm. Well, when the water gets in here, it's supposed to float up and kill the unit. So it'll stop making water. But it flooded right here because this piece of thermostat wire was laying on it. So it couldn't float. They just didn't do a good job when they installed it. See, I put float switch here and here so this don't happen. supposed to drain by itself what's that the water in here yes well i don't see a drain is there a drain coming off this pan i see it's outside but i guess it must be that one it must be because i don't see a drain coming off of it how many square feet is your house Is that with the garage or without it? I think it's including the storage in the back. Okay. So we got the drain clear. We couldn't get all the water out the pan. I don't have my siphoning kit with me, but we're going to quote a new system. New air handler, new condenser, all new ductwork. See the ductwork falling apart right here. Same thing over here. Look at that. Spliced onto it, flex back into the hard pipe. Look at this. Look at this. It's gonna run flex. Oh, I'm sorry. This is they rewrapped it. Yeah, we're just gonna run flex throughout the whole house. All these runs over here will will tie them up high to where you can work. And uh, but yeah, it'll be a flex job for sure. Hey guys, so uh, this is actually a different day. I'm sitting at the gas pump filling up the truck. I just wanna make this real quick. I wanted to see how you guys liked that video. It wasn't the greatest video because most of the video was me bailing water with that uh, cup that they gave me into the primary line and speaking with the customer. But do you guys like it when I prop the camera up like that and you know, even though, you know, that way you can see what's going on. Sometimes I can't always do that, guys, but I try to do it when I can. Second, this video has, I mean, this job, not video, the job in this video has opened my eyes. Any of you guys that follow uh, Ted Cook, if you don't follow Ted Cook, you need to be following him. Uh, I'll put his name up here somewhere. His, uh, it's anti-DIY HVAC. And at the end of this video, I can actually put a, uh, you know, I'll put a clickable thing to his channel where you can go subscribe. Ted's a good friend of mine. Uh, if you do follow Ted, you've seen he bought the Milwaukee transfer pump with the adapters, you know, for the uh, vinyl tubing to empty out the pan and flush it into the primary. It does it really quick. That Milwaukee transfer pump will suck a 30 by 60 pan out, I think Ted said, in five minutes or less. It'll get it almost bone dry. I've had little handheld pumps with that take two uh, D batteries from Harbor Freight and stuff like that. Does a good job, but takes a really long time. I don't like to leave water in the pan like I did on this one. I was only able to get so much out with that uh, with that big cup thingamajigger she gave me. But 
so I had to leave a little, you know, a little bit of water in the pan, and I don't like to do that. So uh, I want to thank Ted for showing us his Milwaukee setup. And I'm going to be biting the bullet to purchase that setup. But I want some feedback on the style of videos you guys are looking for. Uh, I think I think you guys like it when I prop the camera. I'll even, I'll even invest in a tripod if you guys are interested. Let me know. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.